Welcome back to my channel. I have a very special guest for you guys today. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bring him out. Everyone give a round of applause to the man right here. Hey everyone. Bob Ross here, if you didn't know. Um, I'm gonna show y'all pretty little mountain piece, but we're not gonna waste any time, so we're just gonna get started. It's already in liquid white. I did that already before Jamie brought me out. Um, so let's get started. We're gonna start with some yellow to make part of the sky. Now the Indian yellow is quite transparent. I'm in a bright, happy mood today. It's a good day to be alive. So let's do a painting that reflects that. Shoot, every day's a good day to be alive. There we are. Maybe a little bit of it down here. If we're going to have water, we just put a little in there. What the heck? Okay. Sky. I need an easel. I didn't come prepared. Don't clean your brush. And we go into some crimson. Just get it, get it good on the bristles right there. Just like that. And then more scotch. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to lay in a little bit of crimson. Just wherever. Sort of let them flow together. There we are. Just blend those edges out. Very nice. Just put a little warm spot up there in the sky. What the heck? We don't care. the heck? Have a good time. What the heck? We don't care about the water. No, we don't. Because we're going to make it red. Because that's what we now to do. Okay. Just have a good time. That's really what painting's all about. Like that. Is just enjoy yourself. Let them back up in here. Using a little crisscross strokes. And I started out here and working downward. So it'll mix with a liquid white and automatically it'll get lighter it and lighter in value. Cool. There. See, the blue is so much stronger than that crimson. Well, it'll just, it'll eat it up if you're not careful. Maybe a little bit right in here. Now, when you do your painting, you don't want all these colors in the sky. Just leave them out. You can make any kind of sky that you want. Just want to show you how to make that. Mine doesn't blend like that. Doesn't look that bad in person, I don't think. I have too many things. Let's put some water down here. Okay, now there. Water. Pull from the outside in. Outside in. A little bit on the other side. The there we go. Just let all these colors just sort of blend together. We can wash our brush. We put all oh. this color on there, oh. and this is the first time we've washed our brush. Use odorless thinner, shake off the excess, <laughs> and there we go.
I'm not even gonna be able to do this stupid video because my paintbrush keeps leaking. Now you beat the devil out of it. It's beaten. Yeah, it is. Whew. Want to blend the sky out. Be sure your brush is good, clean, and dry. Start in the light area. And the light area. And blend outward. Always blending outward. Try not to bring that blue color back into that yellow or you'll have a bright, clean sky. Now then, just knock that excess paint off my brush. And here. Do this very lightly. Just go across. It's mixing with a liquid white and it all just sort of blends together. That's pretty. Already it's pretty. Mine doesn't look like his does. I think that looks better. Get there. Now then, you gotta make your first big major decision. Where's your mountain live in your world? Maybe. Maybe your mountain lives right there, but it sure does now. Firmly push that right into the fabric. Just really push. Like so. Use a lot of pressure. Maybe it goes on off over here somewhere. Whatever. Oh, that looks good. We'll take a two inch brush goes. and we grab that. Once again, if the canvas is wet, we can move color. That? We can absolutely move well, color. Totally now, if you're on a dry canvas and you try to pull this paint, you're going to be in Agony City. <sighs> mm -hmm. um, this is where it's about to go downhill. Okay. Now then, you have to make some big decisions. In my world, I think the light's going to be coming from the right. And you're going to find if you're right-handed, it's normally easier for the light to come from the right. If you're left-handed, it will vary from person to person. I have a brother who's left-handed, and I know left-handed people their entire life are forced to do right-handed things. So some left-handed people will find it easier to highlight on the left, and some on the right. Most right-handed people, 99 out of 100, will find it easier to highlight on the right. Try it a little bit, see what works for you. It looks good in that, but I... It's too small. I'm not you, Bob Ross. Sorry, man. It's like so. Now then, let's just put the indication of a shadow. Now, let's push this one back. Watch right here. Come right down through here and distinctly come through there. I can't Oops. do right here. And it pushes that little man. thing right on back into the background. That easy. You have the power to move the mountains. Doing a few little shadows here and there. There, push that one right on back, bring that together. Maybe there's a little shadow hides right in there. Wow, this towel is ruined. I'm sorry, Mom. Bob is sorry. Up in this down here at the base. So, gently tapping, following the angles, and lift up. Upward, upward, upward. Very gentle though. Very, very gentle. All you're doing here is caressing the canvas. It's barely touching it. I think I messed one up. Oh. Oh, his is at the blue. So, what 
fan brush I have is my old highlighter brush. So we're gonna try this. And maybe back in here in our world, there lives a lot of little oh. distant trees. And all you're oh, doing is yeah. tapping it down over the fan brush. Just tap it down there. Oh, yeah. Now. There. In our like world. Maybe one or two of these trees is a little, a little more distinct. Stands out a little stronger. You can see a little more detail. A lot of paint though. There's one. You're just sort of working back and forth. And you just put as many or as few as you want. Mm. Oh, this is making me angry. Better go on Because this down. is wet, all you have to do is grab it and pull it straight down. Straight down. Like so. See there? Straight down. And then very lightly come across. Isn't that fantastic? See how you can move those and push them? Nice. Then push firmly. I'm really pushing very firmly here. Very firmly. Hi, my name is Jamie, aka, AKA Bob, and welcome to my Frick Up show. Frickin' up. That's what this is. How to screw up a painting 101. A lot of evergreens in this one. So let's come right up here. We'll put a happy little evergreen right there. Back and forth. There. Just go back and forth. Those little little settler guns just live right in this brush. Push them out sometimes. There. Oh wait, that kind of looks good. Ah! This looks so good. Now it looks good. Now it looks good. Now it looks good. I'm in a little tree trunk. Buddy likes it. Let's come right over here. Maybe there's a little tree. Mm -hmm. Where's right here? Well, I don't know. Wherever you want them. Just Clyde. He's Clyde. Right there. Okay, we'll paint Clyde. Push up. See what that easy we can make a little peninsula that comes right out. See how that pushes everything back? Drop some of it underneath. Take our big brush, grab that, give it a little downward pull. And we have some instant reflections. Oh, it looks really good in my viewfinder. I'm about to hang this. Oh yeah. This big tree right here is going down. A big evergreen. I don't want a big one. This one yeah, is taller right. than the mountain. He goes me up here in the sky. It's a granddaddy evergreen. Hmm. Ptarmigan are beautiful grouse type bird that lives in Alaska. They're not too smart though. Mm. A little bit of the liquid white, we just run that right around like so. Now that maybe right in here lives some bushes and all kind of happy little things. Right there. And we can reflect some of that right into the water. Right into the water. That easy. Happy little bushes. And just happy trees. little bushes. That's all we're doing. There, see? Just make this look like a little windy. Maybe it's a little river that just winds right on back in there. I'm a pro.
professional. I, I, maybe I am Bob Ross. And with that, I'm just going to put the indication here and there of a few tree trunks. Well, everybody, Bob's here. Um, so, the camera I was using had a malfunction. So, welcome to my iPhone. Let's, let's continue this happy painting. We're black. Let's go up here. Now then, let's put some highlight on these trees. The mountain says our light's coming from the right. So it also strike the tree stronger on the right than it would on the left. Let's go right up here. There's a happy little bush. I remember him. He lives right here. Right there. Beautiful little bush. And he shines in the sun. Okay, now then. Watch right here. Let's turn that into reflections just by pulling it down. Go lightly across. There's to it. A very little Indian yellow here and there. Here lives another little bush. See them? Just sort of visualize these in your mind and drop them in. Drop them in. There we are. Maybe right here. There's another little bush. But see, do layer after layer after layer. Maybe there's a stone here. So you need a little place to sit. So let's let's just put us in just a little stone. We can sit there. And if you take care of this stone, treat it right, it'll grow up to be a big mountain like back there. And we know that's not true, but it sounds good. Color. That was just dark sienna, a little white. Looks like I hit a little blue there too. A few little ripples on the water here and there. There. Old, old stick. He lives right out here. Like so. Okay guys, this is my painting, me as Bob, um, I've done better, you know, but it's happy, and that's what matters, because everything is happy in my life. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get y'all's host, because, um, you know, she, deser she deserves to see this, my, my masterpiece. I will get her. Oh, Bob. Oh, Bob. No. Wow. You know, it's not your best work, but you did it. I don't know what really happened with this rock right here. Um, not too sure about your bushes. Like, they're just a little bright for everything. But, I give it, I give it an A. Maybe a high beat. You definitely passed. So. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the special guest. Um, he might come back. He might not. Not really sure.
but he did okay. So we'll see. But um, if you enjoy, make sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe down below. And then check out some more videos if you enjoyed this one. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Get this. In my sky. Wake up in the sky. You can't tell me I ain't fly. Shoot. You're interrupting. Yeah. Hey,